Thank you for listening to Interview with DJ Nocturna. As always, please like, share, and comment if you like my guests today. I have their back. Uh, they've been on the show like, what, three times? I have a uh, Belgium music producer, John Mark Lederman, over there, all the way from Belgium in, in the dark, being incognito there. And uh, Detroit-based musician, Emily Roan, Chiasm. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining me. I, well, I always enjoy you, having you guys. You know, it's been like, I think I did one interview with, uh, was it just by yourself, right? By John Mark and then Emily yeah. just by yourself and then together. Mm -hmm. So there's like three interviews. What, what, yeah. 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 So that's great. I always enjoy it. So I'm wearing these glasses for a special reason, but I look more like, like a John Lennon. You guys look more like Cole. I just look like, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. And I, anyway, it's so dark. I have to take it off. So I'm going to ruin the party here, but uh, there we go. <laughs> well, you know, thank you both for coming on the show. You know, I know you have a new album that's going to be released September 2nd. It's called Rage. And I and I emphasize that because there's an exclamation point in the end. Rage. And the lit, yeah, and the lettering is in capital. Yes. Absolutely. It, the what? The what's in capital? The lettering is in capital. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. even in so, red. Uh, it, it is really rage. Yeah. Oh, is rage. it rage or rage? It's more like <laughs> rage. Well, yeah, whatever it may be, it's it's a, it's a great. It's, I I heard the tracks and uh, you got eleven tracks there. But before we go there, I wanted to just talk a little bit about your collaboration as a partner, partnership, musical partnership. You guys have been doing really well. You had like um, the early releases um, when it all started, like three years ago, maybe four years ago, around the before the pandemic, maybe right on the pandemic time, right? Yeah. You got um, right. then. You got, then you released Venus Chariot and then the Apollo Chariot, which I really thought was so cute how you did that. <laughs> this is a Greek mythology. I love the mythology, Greek mythology, you know that. And uh, so what is it like to work with, you know, work together in a, in a project? Because you're obviously doing really well because, you know, musicians are not easy to work with. I have to say, you know, because, you know, they could be they're so creative that they tend mm -hmm. to be really particular about things because they want it the right way. And sometimes, sometimes not. Sometimes, you you know, when you have a partnership and you can work well together, it just is harmonious. And it seems like you guys are there or you wouldn't be working together still. Right. I agree. It's been completely exciting for me. So, you know, it, and I think it's because we do, we work very quickly and it's constantly changing and we're trying not to do the same thing over and over again. We're always trying to push for something else. So, um, and then we're not like overthinking it too. It's like, all right, we tried this, it worked or it didn't work. It is what it is. We move to the next one. And it's kind of a great progress uh, process because we do make progress. We just keep going and going and going and going. And it's like, all right, well, it sounded pretty great. Maybe it wasn't what we thought we were going to do, but um, yeah, I, I think, I think I'm learning so much just working with him. Um, I, I trust myself more when I'm writing and yeah, it's, it's been incredibly helpful for me. So yeah, it's, it's great for sure. Yeah. And, 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 and <laughs> what she says, what she says. Yeah. Yeah, and I kind of like that Roan Lederman kind of how you put that, how you did, how you guys did that together. It's almost like, uh, you know, pretty soon you guys should should, should start making clothes. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. We have such fashion sense, clearly. <laughs> well, it's uh, to to you know it, to be really honest, I had about um, three or four big collaboration in my musical life, like the, with. Um, the yeah. weatherman and uh, with uh, Frank from uh, Seabound, Ghost and Rider. Mm -hmm. um, then I did also an album with Mary Katman, who now uh, is also signed on Cup International, actually. But with um, Emily, uh, I think we found a very, very special and rare balance, uh, which is that we try to do our utmo utmost to uh, first to not be bored by what we're doing for ourselves. So not repeating the same music or not repeating the same vocals and the same lyrics. So we try to change all the time and to come up with uh, things that amuses us. And they do go fast because we never overthink something. I mean, we could spend days and days on writing a song and then days 
on vocals and then weeks on mixing and we add a few months for the uh, uh, mastering but we don't do that this is why we could do the album fast but anyway to make a long story short i think we found this very rare rare uh, balance and harmony which explains why we can work so fast and why there's a new album now which is not even one year after the other one yeah it didn't feel, it didn't feel complicated to do actually we uh, spend even less time on this one than on the other one mm -hmm. yeah because i i can there's like how many tracks what um ele uh, 11 tracks and uh, you know it's not it's not easy to write music if you, if you don't have that drive or that ambition in that moment you know that's for the moment it's really hard i know so uh, what was the inspiration behind this album rage it's called rage <laughs> <laughs> well i think you know it's unusual for me too this is also something totally new we actually started the album with the title so we knew that it was going the whole thing was like okay that's your theme just go with it and so for me, it was just a lot of just frustration that had built up, especially over the COVID period, um, just with life and with work and, and all of those normal day to day things that you don't really think about so much until it just gets right under your skin. And then I, I took the lyrics from there and just went with it. And it, it yeah, it was a great release for me, I think, um, to get that one out. So and and so now I'm just totally curious on like what we're gonna do next because it won't be rage it'll be something else you know it's like okay that one's done move along you know but it's it's fantastic I'm I love this album I listen to it over and over um and have been it gosh how long have we had it done like maybe six months if yeah. that so um but yeah it's still a favorite I listen to it all the time so it's it's a great one for sure so, so you actually, uh, you know, you wrote the, the songs, right? Yeah. yeah. Except, except yep. for one, and then you sent it to, uh, to John Mark. And then he just. Well, right. He would, I mean, he would start with an instrumental kind of skeleton mm -hmm. sketch for me. And then I was inspired by that and I would write my song around it. And then he would go back and finish the song around what I did. So. Which, yeah, which usually means that I'm changing all the music below the vocals because the vocals give new ideas. And yeah. uh, so I put new so sounds, which means that at the end of the mix, we have two songs. We have the original instrument that yeah. we can serve to something else. Yeah. And we have the new one. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's really fast because nobody wants to spend weeks on a song, you know, and uh, it works that way very well. Mm -hmm. And, and that's then, something, right, that's something I never thought I would find in, in working musically with another person is that he allows me to direct the writing of the song itself using my voice and my lyrics, which I think a lot of, especially if they're people that are accustomed to be just a, a vocalist, will think that, oh, well, you know, that's their song and I'm just like coding it or whatever. And that's totally not what the situation is. So that's been really inspiring and cool for me too. Well, actually I could say, and I, I'm, I'm speaking for experience, that very few singers accept to have the music changed after they've done the vocals mm -hmm. because of micro intervals into the tuning. Uh, mm -hmm. They think that their vocals don't sound as good because they were basing it on such and such harmonies and everything has changed below and the rhythm sometimes change and stuff like that. So it's a, yeah, it's a win-win situation where we are both happy because we are both challenged up to the moment where the song is finally finished, but the entire yeah. process, the song really moves. Yeah. And, and it's uh, very so, experimental too. Yeah. So that's yeah. funny. You know? So, and, so, so in a way you guys are challenge each other, which is a good thing, right? I mean, do you feel like you challenge each other, like to challenge each other to be better and better each each time you put out a, a new a new track or a new album? Yes, but it's not bravado. I mean, we don't challenge <laughs> it for the fun of doing it. And hey, hey, hey oh, is he going to react to that one? Hey, right. take that one. You know, it's not that. So, uh, but but yes, it, it is it is just exciting to be in the constant artistic move. Every yeah. artist knows that. Yeah. Well, not the one that do the same tracks all over again, all the time, but most of them. 
So you guys are in this label called COP International, COP International. What is it like working in, in the label? Because you, you guys are one of, you know, there's there's a lot of fine artists in the label, of course, with, you know, with Christian and John Fryer. Um, mm -hmm. what, what is it like working with the label and, um, you know, just putting tracks out? Well, it's uh, very simple. Uh, we have total freedom and we love it because... Uh, uh, Christian is absolutely adorable and uh, we discuss stuff and you know there's never a complaint about anything it's all you know it's all working hands in hands and uh, we call it the labor that never sleeps and that's very true because Christian never mm -hmm. sleeps always works or um, yeah and it, it's mm -hmm. so so pleasant to be on a label where you can really talk mm -hmm. not whenever you want but you know when you can have a conversation with uh, somebody who's in love with music and you speak the same language you know he he traveled to europe i th i don't know if he saw you did, did he yeah. go to belgium oh yeah. so you guys saw so you saw each other yeah, I, I, tr yeah. I tried to po poison him with a uh, mayonnaise but it didn't work <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't remember there was a picture i i just don't remember there's so many i know he went somewhere and he was had some pictures with some people mm. um yeah. So, John Mark, you're gonna have to come uh, to um, to the U.S. pretty soon. Yeah. With your in your motorcycle. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, uh, go on. Go no, on. no, go. What were you gonna say? No, nothing, nothing, nothing funny or clever. But you just go on. Just ignore <laughs> it. Ignore it. So, you know, I, I know some of these tracks, they all have, you know, there's a song called I Am Not a Drone, you know, Not Your Place to Hide, It Hurts, um, all these titles. Is there a particular reason that, for the titles of some of these songs? Is there any inspiration behind some of the songs here? I For the songs, when I write them, I, it's just, I, I go with the lyrics first and then we actually pick the titles last. So oh, yeah. it was it was right before we had to, choose something and it's like okay this is the name um but yeah in fact i said i was gonna pull up my cheat sheets so i can figure out what we named everything because it our own working titles were always different so oh yeah that's why the <laughs> titles are different yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so i'm pretty sure there's going to be remixes coming up right for I, I already know that there are there are remixes already for it hurts yeah mm -hmm. yeah and then yeah, yeah, i'm probably working on more Klaus Larsen from uh, Leather Strip and uh, Stefan Neccio from Bibo and Beton did remixes and uh, they were wonderful. And that's on the first EP of the album, It Hurts, yeah. Each song has a video also. And uh, I mean, we were, as usual, uh, stunned by what they came up with, so. Yeah, the, do you guys like, um, do, do you guys want to work together like, see, like, person to person like actually like in the same place eventually because i know you guys are two separate places <laughs> i don't know how well that i'm used to working alone i'm definitely most productive in my own space so oh yeah yeah, yeah. So, am I. yeah <laughs> so, am I. so it so it works like yeah. that yeah yeah i i, I think that's kind of like the magic then i think it could it just, be <laughs> it, no it, it really does i i mean i can totally see that because you see you know when people are, are to, they're always on each other's face right you you kind of like okay back off i need to go on my own space so i totally get it yeah so, so this <laughs> album will be coming out on september 2nd now how, how did you guys pick that 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 date is it just come out or you just saw uh... i think it's uh, the first band camp friday in a really long time yes but our, for yeah, a while? But it is but aren't we supposed to say that something like it's been in an intense marketing Operation oh, sure. and thinking behind yes, the it. The algorithm came been, together. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> no, it is the first bad camp day, but uh, I'm. I mean, I'm wondering actually if it's still a good idea to release records on bad camp day because everybody does. So right. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It is just the closest day we could have to release this album. To be honest, we mm -hmm. just wanted it out because we want people to hear it and we want yeah. people to think about it and want people to wonder you know why did they change so much after Venus chariot because Venus chariot is a totally different kind of animal is it yes 
I mean, how would you say? <laughs> how would you say co how the comparison between rage and um, Venus chariot? How would you place it? Um, well, you know, I, I think there's a there's a there's a theme. I guess I guess that's how I see it. There's a theme, right? Rage is a little bit more like um, um, more. Uh, well, I can't say passionate because they're both passionate. You know. I, I think it's just um it's just different. Yeah, you're right. It's a different it's it's totally different in that way. Yeah. And how do you feel about the far more aggressive side of this album? Uh you know, I, I'm I like everything. I like fast songs, I like slow songs. I like your you know, what I want to see is a, it's more ballads. You, you know, know. In, the future, in the future, you know. But I think this is great. I know you have some Slow, slow songs here, you know, a little sure. bit slower. Yeah, and I, I I like that. I I like everything. Yeah. Yeah, but I can hear ballads. Yeah, yeah. There's a ballad. Yeah, because yeah. um, I guess it's the it's the instrumental, the instrument, the instrument you use too, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But okay, but we'll, we'll, but we'll radio... be thinking. Yeah, we'll be thinking Nashville next time then. No, no, you you guys do it, do what you got to do, you know. I just I like any I like everything you guys do, you know. Yeah, I, but I if we your... can do it in Nashville. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I love your your collaboration with uh, John Mark, um John John Luke uh from uh, Front 242. And that's yeah. not that's mm -hmm. not that's totally different too, right? Absolutely. Yeah, it's yeah, different from it, this and yeah, but yeah. it's a different kind, you know, it's a different frame of mind. Uh Uh, but still, it's not EBM either, you know. Right, so, right. You know, I, 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 I like to surprise myself. I like to surprise the person I'm doing it with foremost. And I like to surprise the people who listen to it. And uh, I'm most content when people say I was really surprised about it. And I didn't think it would sound like this. And well, thank you. So, but let's go back to rage. 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 Rage, you know that. That's why I wanted to ask you about rage because um, there must be a reason that there's an exclamation point on the, you know. So it's really like um, there must be like you know. I I figure there must be something that that inspired this this album to come out. You know. Well, you and, know, you mean about the title? Yeah. Well, I mean the exclamation mark after rage is like eleven in spinal tap, isn't it? There's rage and then there's more rage. You know, <laughs> so, it's a joke. You know, it it is a joke. Uh, it, so is is it from the from the from the two years that we've been in lockdown? Is that part of the? Could is that part of it that came out? Well, I mean, the thing is, uh, there was COVID, which is wasn't well, which isn't funny because it's not over. But in the last uh, year, I think over, yeah. we, we well, we've seen so much shit happening in this world and yeah. it's so much not down to the little people anymore i mean there's nothing we can do about it except uh, in our own tribe of 50 people around us uh, our inter interaction with the real political world is no you know there's nothing we can do and for me the rage was far more on the fact that as a citizen of a country what is there left to, for you to do so you can really change Mm -hmm. things you know and well i mean there's the war in ukraine also which is quite close from here uh yeah. so it's uh yeah it is rage and uh so it's uh, all of those things against the aggression that comes down on you when you know you, you try to do your all your best and all you have is aggro all you mm -hmm. have is aggro so what do you develop you can develop love yeah it works you can develop rage also works Yeah. So I I know you I know you guys are are working on your own solo projects too, right? Um Emily, I know you're you know, when when I think of you, I, I think of um, you know, because I know you're you're a science um uh you have a I guess your background, your mm -hmm. your your uh well what what you do your, your job. Your day. <laughs> I can't remember if it's a molecular biologist or something like that, but something yeah. to do with genetics, right? Mm. Yeah, and I, I know you have that project. It's so it's so different from John Mark. Like John Mark is um, you know, he's 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 a, he's a lot, he's been a musician for so long. Well, both of you guys have over like over 20 years, right? Probably more uh, John yeah. Mark. 
you know, yeah. with being Gene Love with Gene Loves Jezebel and um the weatherman and da da and so forth, so on. So um do you, you guys have any upcoming um solo works? Emily? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm I'm working on a new Kaizen album and I'm hoping to have an EP out, I think. When do we say in, in early spring and then the album in the fall? Oh, yeah. have, do you have a name so for we're it? We're working on it. No, oh. I don't have the name yet. Okay. I'm so still writing. It, is it going to be on comp? comp yeah, you, yeah. I mean, you've yeah. been with comp forever, right? Yes. A long time Since ago. Yeah, you're like one of the 99. first ones. Are, are you, <laughs> yes. Were you the first artist? No, I, mean, I was not. Oh, was okay, not. okay. <laughs> I remember your label even that, that long ago, even before I met Christian. You know, wow, wow, yeah, yeah. I mean, remember <laughs> had disorder and all those other stuff you mm -hmm. released like way back when. Yeah. And what about you, John Mart? Any, uh, any, what upcoming? about me? What about me? Any upcoming, <laughs> any upcoming, uh, or are, are you guys planning on what, you? Uh, well, I mean, for the moment, there's the uh, the rage album, which uh, yeah. you know, takes uh, my attention, and yeah, there's some. Uh, future I mean, solo sort of work, yeah. Too. Yeah, I, I know I, doing stuff. I, I kind of keep yeah. up with a lot of stuff anymore. <laughs> there's, an, there's an album coming out in uh, February on uh, Cup International, a kind of solo album, solo instrumental, but with vocals. I mean, it's complex to explain, so we will wait for the date. But yeah, yeah. but because I'm I more excited it. about uh, you know Emily's Chasm mm -hmm. album, which mm -hmm. I can say does exist because I've heard one track. So uh, I know that people oh, are okay. eager. I know that people are eager for it. I know that there's some news around disorder, maybe too. Maybe Emily can say shit some light there. Mm. Yeah, and I, I need to do some file searching, but we are talking about a reissue of disorder. So oh, good. Yeah, I hope is, it happens. Is, is it, <laughs> the the it's out of print, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been out of print for a long time. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that'd be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. I hope so. Yeah, yeah but be sure to keep us up, you know, posted on that. Yeah, we'd love to love to love to hear that again. I think that's great because that's like the early days. Are you are you gonna but you are you gonna do some other remixes on the new on that album? On the new on re, when it when it gets re-released? I'm I'm hoping to include a couple of extra tracks from the same time period that were not on it. So all that oh wow, okay. Yeah. For yeah. all the Kayazm fans. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it'll be cool. Wow. Okay. A anything else about the album, Rage? Well, I'd like, you know, personally, I'd like people to uh, listen to it in one go and see how the roller coaster is. Uh, Venus was very long, was about 57 minutes. Mm -hmm. This album is uh, a bit shorter, which I think is probably better but the songs are more condensed too and uh, i think it takes you uh, through quite a few emotions that uh, people don't always want to read in themselves but they do exist uh, rage is something that we all feel at one moment or another and it's good to have it released in songs more than in road rage or uh, destroying your kitchen or whatever so yeah, <laughs> if you don't want to destroy your kitchen, you know, get get rage. Yeah, well, you know, I, I I've always liked the lyrics to the songs because I think they're you know they they're catchy and they're passionate. And I I like I like songs with a with a lyric that's gonna you know catch you right. That's gonna that's gonna build emotion. So um, this this album will be coming out September second on COP International, and um, I know the Venus Chariot um. So, you know, I, I know you guys been on the on the Deutsch alternative chart, right? With that album, that attracts there. So, yeah, we we um, rented the place there. I mean, we've been there for <laughs> quite a few weeks. <laughs> but it was great and totally unexpected. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's welcome, of course. You know, when you do something and it it is recognized by people and it is recognized by your peers, that's very right. very <laughs> very important. Um, so you know, we know that we don't make the easiest music. Uh, we know it's not EBM, it's not industrial, but it's not electro pop either. Certainly, it's not chi chill out music or electronica. So it's uh, 
and it needs to build up its own little world and we're happy when people do give us the time and the attention uh to yeah to see what we have to say yeah absolutely so being on the dac charts as number one for the single and the album i think also no yeah single and album mm -hmm. that was really that was brilliant yeah absolutely mm -hmm. so if anybody wanted to uh, check out this album when it comes out on September 2nd, how do they uh, find it? Bandcamp. Bandcamp. Ron Letterman on Bandcamp. Yep. Or, uh, or cop, <laughs> cop, uh, copint. Yes. Dot, I think cop. I, I used to memorize it. Copint.com, right? Something yes. like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, and it will be uh, on uh, the um, DSP a few weeks later. But the beginning is on the Bandcamp, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, people from people, there'll be a possibility from uh, European people to, to get it from Europe too. So the post costs are not uh, huge, uh, mm -hmm. like they are when something comes from the States. I mean, it's crazy now. There's a new tax, which is $30, about $30 for wow. anything that comes into uh, Europe from outside of the CU. Oh, wow. But not rage. You know, so Emily, I, I can't help but notice behind you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you collect those? Don't ask. Don't <laughs> ask. Don't ask. Just some, just some little Star Trek action figures. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, Star Trek. Oh, yeah. You know, um, I love Star Trek too. I like, well, the, the, the original. I, I'm oh, yeah. the original. Okay. Yeah, with William Shatner and Lee, uh, Spock and and not the newer ones? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, so that. <laughs> and then you you're not fan of the new ones? The uh, uh you know I'm not I'm Voyager not... <laughs> or uh, the new the new discovery new world. Yeah. And new world. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to I, don't, I really don't have time to watch. <laughs> yeah, I, I I grew up I grew up with Star Trek, you know. Mm -hmm. Um the, the very like, you know, uh, Star Trek and uh Twilight Zone. I don't know if you ever watched Twilight Zone, the original. Oh, yeah. Um, I love that. Yeah, that's yep. like, and that, that's why, that that's my connection to the, you know, the science fiction world. I love those kind of things, you know, that that you can't explain. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and Star Trek has always been like ahead of the, ahead of its time, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, you, know, you know, they had those cell phones even before. <laughs> Star Trek, you know. <laughs> and, they had, and then there's a way you can beam somebody up so quickly. I wish they can do yeah. that now. And then you guys can actually be <laughs> together. Beam me up, John Mark. <laughs> you gotta beam me up, Scotty. All right. So, all right. Well, you know, thank you both for for joining me. Um, thank you. Just, I'm gonna just thank log up much. here. Thank you for, and congratulations on your new album. And this, Thanks. of course, this this show will, this interview will air the um, next week, the next yeah. Saturday, which I think. Well, when is that? Friday, your release. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we are in the third. So, okay. yeah, so the album will be on the air. Yeah, great. All right, one moment. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.